Welcome on in. Welcome on in to the Wolf Den Podcast, guys. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, everybody. Hi. We're here. We're still here. We're here. <laughs> yeah. We made it. Despite the fact that nothing happened this week. Nothing happened. It's uh, really shockingly how We little. made it through the year is what happened. We did. And that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. Uh, we're doing a giveaway again. This mm-hmm. is the last podcast giveaway, I guess. Uh... You have to do exclamation point giveaway again because I forgot to turn on the the the, the little thing. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're do- today. There's nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened no, this nothing, week. Nothing really happened. So there's no news. We no des- news. We, we decided it would be a little fun thing. We already kind of recapped the year. Kind of did that we already. We did it through like what we played on PlayStation and Nintendo. Basically. Yeah, but like that's all we can really talk about. We also did like a kind of game of the year from uh, from the the game of the year awards. Yeah, uh, and and we really didn't have much to speak on. There's a lot of games we didn't play, and a lot of games we didn't really care about. Yeah. Um. So our sort of wrap up kind of served as that. Yeah. Uh, however, there is a Steam wrap up. Okay. That we now, just got that I will go through yes. eventually. And that, that is all on you because I have not played anything right. on Steam in God knows how long. But we will also get to the games coming next year. Yes. Which is important. Yes. I also talked about that on the Nintendo podcast. <laughs> which so I didn't want to make that the main topic. Right. So what we're doing for the main topic Snacks! Snacks! We're going to do a snack tier list. But before we do that, I thought maybe before that, we should talk about the Spotify rap. Yes, because Spotify also gives us stats for who listens to us and what what all you what all you weirdos are into. What all you weirdos are into. You weird, you sickos. Yeah. You little wacky guys. I have it on screen right now. It's doing a whole animation. Yeah. It's it's very, very extra. Uh, yes. I, it's kind of... Oh, that's sick, though. <laughs> Wolf Den Podcast Weekly Gaming Wrap Up. Uh, weekly Gaming Recap. Your wrapped has arrived. I forgot we changed the name. Yeah, to we gave it a longer name. This SEO, year, baby. This year, we changed it to week, uh, Wolf Den Podcast Weekly Gaming Recap. And today, here we are not doing a gaming <laughs> recap. Uh, jump in, dude. Let's see it. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to have a stroke. If, it, you, if you guys have uh, epilepsy, maybe. <laughs> you're susceptible to like epilepsy. Yeah, maybe don't watch the yeah. stream. In 2022, you did your thing. Who writes this? I don't know. It, it's lazy like shit. Sli- it, it's like slide by slide. If you look at the bottom, it says one out of 11. Oh, it's a lot more than that. We're in it. This is for a long time. Yeah. The people loved it. Did you? Did you? One Let's in the see. chat if you loved it. Whoa. We're getting sucked in. Whoa. Oh, my God. Just go to the next slide. You created 5,015 minutes of new content. Oh, God. Our time. <laughs> But that's 98% more, that's more than 98% of other creators in the leisure category. Ooh, okay. So take that, all you other people in the leisure category. I feel like a lot of other podcasters yeah. don't do it weekly. Yeah. A lot of the top ones, they probably skip a lot of a lot Also, of weeks. now that like it's so much easier to upload podcasts now, how many like start and stop within a month? Yeah, you know? exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Uh... You can't hear us, but we're clapping right now. We're still on one out of 11. Yes. <laughs> okay, we got a blast. Oh, oh we're moving on. To, here comes two. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess your number one? One episode really grabbed listeners' attention. Oh, um. so we cheated because we did this a, a while ago. Do you think I remember? No. <laughs> I <laughs> don't gonna, either. I'm going to eat this Mario cookie. Okay, I'm going to eventually eat this snowman you know, let me Mario show, cookie. Let me show it on, on the big yeah. camera. It's a big Mario cookie. By Kayla. Yeah. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you, Kayla. Uh, can you guess your number one episode? All right, everybody guess. Game Boy Advance on Nintendo Switch. Has leaked. Has leaked. Uh, what happened to these Nintendo franchises and the Nintendo Direct versus Sony uh, State of Play? Uh, this Direct one is going to be my guess. Yeah. Let's try that. Nope. Oh, Try again. And it gives us another guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Nintendo franchises. No? Are you kidding me? Really? It's the Game Boy virtual console, basically. Game Boy. Interesting. Game Boy on Switch has 176% more streams than, than your average episode. What the hell happened around that time? I don't know. Well, that was, what, April? Yeah. Okay. What the hell happened in April? I don't know. 
That's when most people decided to listen to us. Okay. All right, we're on three now. Hooray. Your podcast loves to travel. Oh, that's yeah. good, because I don't. I don't like going anywhere. <laughs> no. I will say, uh, on Twitch, we are in the top 1% of the just chatting category. Wow. Really? Yeah. There you go. Because of this podcast. It was heard in 66 countries, United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and the Netherlands in that order. That is, Netherlands. That's what fascinates me because, you know, the, the other four, yeah, they're all English-speaking countries. Mm -hmm. uh, the Netherlands, not an English-speaking country primarily. One in the chat if you're in the Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're listening to this retroactively, leave a comment on whether or not you live in the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. Something magical happened between October 9th and October 15th. You had 32% more listeners compared to your average week. All right, what did we do? What, yeah, what happened? Tell us what we did. What happened that week? I don't remember. Oh, uh, Mario movie? Was it? Oh, it was. Yeah, all the up. Mario movie news. Yeah. Whoa. Look, it's doing a little animation. Oh, yeah. Whoever said sharing is caring was probably a fan of yours. Okay. Dude. Okay. Easy, all buddy. Right, I'm not. I just get to cut the fluff. Your podcast was in the top 30% most shared globally. Um, with a 61% used a direct link, 27% used text, 11% WhatsApp. That's the for that's the foreigners. Yeah. And 1% other. It's the only people in the Netherlands sending mm -hmm. it. Pop quiz. What percent of your listeners follow your podcast? All right. What percent do you people think? I think it's pretty high. I think so too, because these are the people who are listening to this are the diehards. Yeah, I'm gonna say 56. Same. Oh, I guess I was right. You are correct. Yep. You're Maybe in the top five most followed podcast. Hell yeah, baby! Let's get that to the top. If you're not following, follow. Yeah. On Spotify, even if you're, even if you watch on YouTube or something. Yeah. Follow us on Spotify. It's free. It's free. And then also, we can be in the top 1% then. Yeah. And that'd be pretty sick. Then we can start making Joe Rogan money, and then our dad can leave us alone. <laughs> you think that will get him to leave us alone? No, but it'll be a start. No, that'll make him worse. <laughs> that'll make him so much worse. All right. What are Wolf Den Podcast Weekly Gaming rac Recap listeners like exactly? Yeah, Fucking what are weirdos. you like? Fucking cringe lord. Do I want to know? <laughs> I'm getting crumbs all over myself. Calculating your personalities. It just doesn't tell us. It's like, you don't want to know. Yeah. The enthusiast. <laughs> your listeners are super fans. When their favorite podcast releases a new episode, they're among the first to know going above and beyond to show their support. Oh, that's nice. I thought enthusiast meant like they're very interested in I thought nerdy shit. I thought enthusiast meant that they're outside our door right now. <laughs> I might cut this short. Yeah. 78% of your listeners discovered you in 2022. That's crazy. Yeah. Welcome. That's a lot of you. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to shove this whole piece of cookie in my mouth. So, Will, you're going to have to do some talking. All right. Let's load it in the next page. I just got to do the psychedelic stuff first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One episode attracted a lot of new listeners. The Nintendo Direct recap, New Mario Strikers. 6% of our audience started with that episode. So, we gotta do more Nintendo Direct. Oh no, we got caught. Yeah. Dad's in the chat. Oh boy. Your dad will never leave you alone. I want a net jet to the wind Macau too. <laughs> I discovered you at birth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a threat. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Fans are a dedicated bunch. Whoa. Whoa. Like, what if people are doing this on, like, a really bad PC and it just crashes everything? Yeah, I know. 45% of 2021 listeners joined you again this year. What the fuck, guys? Yeah, that's Where's that, that 55? Where's that 55? That's, that's that more than half audience retention. Come on, guys. Come back. What do we do? Disappointing. Yeah. Is it because we don't do nudes? We'll do <laughs> nudes. Is it because we came back in person? 14% listened to most of your episodes. That's nice. Thank you yeah. so much. 
I, I will. This is pretty, but it's getting annoying. Like. You created 18 polls and 12 Q&As. Listeners joined in 852 times. We got to do more polls. We, we really we do. We forgot yeah. about the polls. Yeah. I've been creating them, but I don't always like remember to bring them up. I was going to say, 12 time. sounds like more than I yeah. remember. Listeners scored your podcast 4.9. Yo, who's the who's the point one? Probably Dad. Show yourself. Dad, why did you rate us badly? <laughs> He's trying to keep us humble. Have you been working out? Why did you do that? Why did you out me like that? <laughs> Obviously not. If Absolutely I'm here not. Eating cookies. Your pot. Why did it say? That? Oh, your podcast saw a lot of gains this year. <laughs> I hate whoever wrote this. Ninety-seven percent followers. What does that mean? More followers? Yeah. Sixty-one percent hours. Wait, ninety-seven percent followers. We saw an increase of ninety-seven percent of followers. An increase of listen hours of sixty-one percent. An increase of sixty-one percent of streams. I don't understand percentages. In in this regard, oh, everything's going up. <laughs> okay. Just know that everything's going up. <laughs> everything's go- okay. Nope, I went the wrong way. You and you, you and your fans have something special. All right, I'm so glad I waited like ten minutes to see that. <laughs> this is making great radio, by the way. You're a you're a top ten podcast for. 1,826 fans. That's that seems like weighted. Like yeah. <laughs> You're a top five podcast to 1,394 fans. You're a top number one podcast for 369 fans. Nice, dude. Uh, Wolfden Weekly, Wolfden Podcast Weekly Gaming Rackup. Thank you for you for sharing your podcast around with the world. No problem, dude. Thank you for helping us distribute that podcast. Correct. Speaking of sharing, we made something special for you. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, let's see it. Let's see it together. Choose a look. Oh, it's just like yeah. And this is we thing. post this to social media. It's it's literally just the color scheme. Fine, we'll do yeah. purple. We're not sharing it. I don't need to share it with my. I'm sharing it with my fans right now. Yeah, there you go. I, have a good time, everybody. Only forty go. episodes. That's a lie. Yeah, that is not true. Yeah, it would be fifty two. Uh, we probably skipped one week. We skipped a week when I got COVID. Yeah, and that was it. All right. So you're a liar. Yeah. Spotify sucks. Screw you, Spotify. Yeah, everyone go subscribe to Apple Music anyway. <laughs> so that's our recap. Thank you for listening to yes, us on Spotify you, and rating for being us a part and whatever. Of this and joining us every week for this stupid show. <laughs> <laughs> we very much appreciate it. Uh anyway. We got notifications here as well. We got baked fish pubes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. We got John Holzer with the Prime. We got She's with AJ with the Prime. And we got Blastoise with a uh, subscription. And a gift this up. Thank you. Thank very you, much. everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, I listen on Apple Podcasts instead of Spotify. That's fine, too. It's fine. Yes. Don't forget to rate us on those platforms. Too. Yes. It, it's very nice. It's very good. I wonder if, this, I guess Spotify rating is different than uh, when they say we're rated a 4.9 on Spotify. That would be different on. Yeah. Well, it only gave us the Spotify number because Anchor, the yeah. platform we upload to, is owned by Spotify. Right, right, right. So. Underscore, thank you for the prime sub of 60 months. That is the most amount of months I think you could subscribe on this yeah. channel. <laughs> uh, anyway. Now we're going to give a little something special to our listeners. Yes. What you've all been waiting for. Uh, 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 a snack tier list. Because <laughs> there's fucking nothing happening. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not chip guys. No. So this might be a little disappointing for Although, I, I don't know. I'm sure I've told you about it. Uh, those of you who don't know me, I'm a big fan of the Canadian com- comedy show Letter Kenny. Okay. And uh, season 11 just debuted yesterday on Hulu. And the first episode is a town hall debate on what is the best flavor of chip. Oh. It is. Fantastic episode. And they all agree that all dressed chips are the best flavor. Although. The Those dope aren't pick- a thing here. No. But it's a Canadian show. So they're a thing in Canada. They're, they're a thing in a prison here. Yes. They're, that um, You used to thing. be able to get the Canadian all dressed chips in like Walmart fairly easily. But I can't find them anymore around here. I don't know what happened, but they they did end up distributing them to a, yes. a specific prison. Yes. 
Um, but anyway, so this is uh, this is good timing because I just saw that episode. It is very funny, and now we are going to. Do have you the same agree thing. that it's all? We got wait, we got the all dressed. Yes, chips. all dressed chips is very on the are, podcast. Yes, we got all them. dressed chips are very good. Okay. Yes. Didn't we determine it would just taste of what the sour I'm trying, cream onion? Okay. What I'm trying to say is that the vibe is very similar. Okay. God damn. It. I thought I thought we determined that the all dressed chips kind of just tasted like well, sour cream. Well, there's different onion. kinds of all dressed chips. There's the whole shebang. That's the one we had. Yeah. Then there's like that's the, the prison one. There's the Ruffles all dress, which is like the actual Canadian mm -hmm. stuff they used to sell in Walmart. That's different. That has a little bit more like ketchup and barbecue flavor in it. Oh. So. That sort of changes the dynamic. All right, so I guess we'll go from top left to bottom right. We're yeah. just on the tier maker here. Now these are I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say these are the best. I feel like they're probably missing some stuff. These here. are the most common. Yeah. So uh Doritos Cool Ranch. Not great. Bottom tier. All right. I'm gonna start this off with a bang with the, with the biggest controversy. I'm a red bag Doritos man. I'm I, I, I'm not a Doritos guy, but I might agree with you. Yeah. So I'm just going to say it right now. I'm sorry if we lose subscribers. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't care. Red Bag Doritos are the better superior right, Doritos. Where do they go? They're not that good. I put them in delicious. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it there. Now, Lay's Classic. Actually, kind of kind of nice. No, those are good. Yeah. I mean, the problem here is... Hmm. There's no ruffles on here. The yeah. ruffle, the ridged... Potato chips are better. Are are better in every yeah. way. Uh, class. Some people call them classic. Some people call them plain. Some people call them, dare I say, regular. I'm. They uh, gotta go above Doritos. Yeah. I'm. Put, they're chips, though. I'm putting them in delicious above Doritos. Yeah. Uh, Fritos, kind of, kind of not great. Mm. I would put them in pretty good. Because I don't hate them. Okay. Like, I eat, I would eat them. The problem is, here's the problem with... They're a corn chip. Here's the problem with Fritos. Uh-huh. Zim smells exactly like Fritos. <laughs> Especially when he's sleeping under a blanket, so then you move yeah. the blanket, and it just wafts Fritos. <laughs> so I can't... I can't willingly eat a Frito yeah. now after after knowing that this <laughs> dog, that I, this so living it's thing that I live with, fault. smells like Fritos. But fine, I'll put it in pretty good. Okay. Tostitos, uh, they're we we like a good we like a tortilla good, chips are good. Tortilla chips I are good, but you're assuming that you're putting an accessory to them, which is the salsa, salsa or guacamole. Yeah. So how do we feel about adding stuff to the snack? I feel like we have to judge the snack on its own, and in that case, I would probably put I would put Tostitos and mouth watering. No, not with no, not with plain, not with nothing. They gotta go in like pretty good. There's no, nothing, there's no, nothing there. I, You're just eating plain chips. I think they're better. If they were lime, they're fucking god tier. Yeah, but they're not. But they're just regular. They're just ass. the regular Tostitos. Tostitos with lime are top tier. Right, but that's not what these are. Correct. I don't know. Because I, I could eat Tostitos on its own. I'll put it in delicious. It's going okay. below Lay's, though. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Cheetos. Cheetos are great. Cheetos are very good. And I don't know. Are these the crunchy, though? I think those are crunchy. These are crunchy. Listen. Are we a puffed house? I think we're a puffed more house. More so, but like I'm not. I don't really have like a bias one way or the other. Like between crunchy and puffed. Mm -hmm. You know, so if if... Crunchy is going to represent all of Cheetos. That's fine with me. If you hand me a bag of crunchy Cheetos, I'm not going to punch you in the face like if you were to <laughs> hand me a bag of blue Doritos. Okay. So, like, I, I I might lean more. To, it's like Marvel and DC. I might lean more towards DC, but I'll read as many Marvel comics as you put in front of me. So, is it better than Lay's? Yeah. I would put Cheetos in mouth watering. Okay. I will agree. Uh, Funyuns, trash. Uh, yeah. Absolute <laughs> not, garbage. Not good. Not great. All the way at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, Chex Mix, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty yes. good. Pretty good. I might put it in mouth watering. Ooh, is that too high? It might be too high. But the problem with Chex Mix is, is that's, that's traditional Chex Mix, and it's very. There's no chocolate. In it. There's chocolate in it, right? It's like not traditional. M &M not traditional. <gasps> oh, then that's not good. So that's very. It's very like Chex Mix is just like a base, you know. You add things on top of it. Mm -hmm. So, 
it, like traditional Chex Mix, it's not bad. It's, you know, some might call it good, but it's also very mid. Corn Chex, wheat Chex, pretzels, rye chips, and mini breads. Okay, that's garbage. <laughs> that's that's not what I was expecting. Those are not the Chex Mix that I want. Right. They're going under Fritos and pretty good, though. Yeah, that's acceptable. Snyder's pretzels. <laughs> now, these are good. Yes. But, but this is like the last resort at a party. Well, well, specifically, these are honey mustard and onion pretzels. Oh, ew, dude. So, no. No, no, no those here. are not great. Uh, they are going above Funyuns, though. Okay. You know what? I'm putting them above Cool Ranch Doritos. Damn, son. Uh, goldfish. Uh, Regular goldfish. To die for. Really? To die for. You don't even like cheese. I know. But I will eat an entire box of like the the big <laughs> carton of goldfish by myself. Okay. And I got to make sure I do that because my daughter also eats a, that same amount of goldfish in one sitting. You think goldfish are better than Cheetos? Yes. Okay. Yes. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> uh, what, is, what is this one? This is this looks like a... Gardetto's? Original recipe. This is like a Chex Mix thing. What's a Gardetto? Is this a regional thing? Are Chex Mix and Gardetto's the same? <laughs> Uh, Gardetto's is a brand of snack mix owned by General Mills, which also owns the, the similar Chex Mix. The Gardetto Family Bakery. Okay, I don't give a shit about the bakery. <laughs> it's Italian. All right. And I think there's chocolate in it. Okay. So that puts it slightly above the Chex Mix then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, this isn't chocolate. It's like a chocolate like wafer chip. Oh. I'm putting it slightly above uh check traditional Chex mix yeah uh oh check there's another Chex mix these is Chex mix muddy buddies peanut butter and chocolate mm, the best combination we gotta know what a muddy buddy is because we do like <sighs> peanut butter and chocolate i've oh i know what these are this looks like a like cereal <laughs> yeah it looks like a, a wheat thin yeah have I had this before? I feel like I might have had this before. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we can't comment on this. Yeah, because that muddy buddies are just checks filled with chocolate. Oh, that yeah. sounds good though. It that sounds sound really good. good. Uh, Pringles. Mm. Pringles are pretty, pretty classic. Yeah. Should I? I, I kind of want to put it in mouth water. Maybe below Cheetos. I don't know, man. It's got to go above Lay's. But there's no family size Cheeto. Uh, no family size Pringles. You know. What would a family size pack of Pringles be? A family size bag of Lay's is a big ass bag of Lay's. What is the family size? <laughs> you really can of Pringles. You really can't share Pringles. Would it be three cans? Are they side by side or are they stacked on top of each other? These are the questions you have to ask. <laughs> it's a cross of Pringles. So you can grab from the top or the yeah. sides. That's a good point. You yeah. can't share Pringles can't share at all yeah. unless you lay them out and that defeats the whole yeah. thing. Also, once you get about a third of the way through the Pringles, you can't Your hand get stuck. Yeah. So it, ha it got to take points off for flawed design. But it's better than Lay's. To a point. <laughs> you're, 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 you're adding the difficulty of actually eating them. Yes. I, I feel like that's a big part of it. You're, I, I'm, a, I will agree. But how does it make it worse than Lay's? Like, how much worse than Lay's? Better or worse is it if you include the the better experience of eating them? Because at, at the, the least amount of steps to eating the food, the better. Okay. You know? I agree. I never got my hand stuck in a bag of Lay's. Like lobster. It's great. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. It's the work makes you yeah. it not, you not want to do it. Yeah. So... I guess we'll put Pringles at the bottom of delicious. Damn, really? <laughs> it's, it's that much work for yeah. you? Because it's in a tube? Yes. All right. If it was fun size, this would be a different story. Yes. All right, Oreos. To this die is for. regular Oreos. To die for. Okay, fine. To die for. I'm putting it under goldfish. Fine. I like Oreos, but the regular Oreos? 
Not that great. No, they're good. I will buy I will buy a bag of regular ass double stuffed Oreos or even Oreo thins. I'm keeping an eye on chat. Some of you guys, horrible opinions. Yeah. <laughs> um keep them coming though. Yeah. Okay. Chips Ahoy. Now. Now we like Chips Ahoy. Yes. I like a good cookie. Yes. But this is the regular this crunchy regular. ones. Yes. And those are not that good. No. We are a chewy Chips Ahoy. We're chewy, family. which is very controversial. Yes, we yes. have a lot of controversial. Yes, snack my own wife doesn't like this opinion of mine. She is a blue bag Chips Ahoy girl. I I'm surprised we've been together for this long. I will say that the 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 chewy tastes a little weird. It's it like does. a little bit of a it chemical does. taste yeah. in it, but it's the texture. Yeah, it's the texture is important. Like, I like a good soft cookie. I'd rather eat the chemicals. Yeah, it's worth the texture. Uh, but that uh, said, like I don't, you know, I don't hate the original chips. Whole. Right, I think I would eat a whole sleeve still. Yeah. <laughs> uh, alone, Daisy in the chat says Oreo mint thins. Those are very, very good. If I liked mint and chocolate, you together, don't like mint. I don't like the combination of mint and chocolate. To me, mint is supposed to like, you know, make your breath smell nice, and that's it. <laughs> Polor says crunchy is better, is greater than original. What's the difference? I thought. Crunchy was the original. No, there Chips is Ahoy. a there is a crunchy Chips Ahoy. That's like the black bag. Really? Or is it chunky? That was a chunk. That's chunky. I think they meant chunky. Yeah, because because original is the crunchy. Yeah. All right, whatever. Uh, where are we? At? You know what? Fuck it. We'll put put it under mouth watering below okay. Cheetos. Cause I might they- put it above Cheetos because I'm. We're not chip people. We're more cookie. We're more cookie people. people. Yeah. And and I'd rather eat a Chips Ahoy than a Cheeto. All right, fair enough. Cheat uh, if we're if we're factoring in experience of eating the thing, I got to eat Cheetos with chopsticks. I don't want <laughs> or or the bag in my mouth. I hate I'm not, I hate that you've become that person. I don't want I don't want things on my fingers. Don't do something that requires your fingers. <laughs> I just can't. I'm just not allowed to eat Cheetos anymore. I no, I do you- that with fries. I eat fries with a fork. Because I don't want to get my hands all greasy. Who are you? What have you become? It's 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 my solution. I have a solution. I did it. Oh my god, I don't even know you anymore. Well, you just like to live in filth then, I guess. I guess I do. I'm sorry that I eat finger foods with my fingers. Fig Newton's garbage, garbage. tier. <laughs> Not even a snack. No. Krispy Kreme. To die for... Top of the list. Don't give me that Asterisk. fucking look. Why? Asterisk. The hot light. Yeah, it's got to be hot. It's I'm, I'm be just hot. assuming it's hot. But if you get, I like, would, but I would still rather eat a cold grocery store Krispy Kreme <laughs> than anything else on this list. I don't know, man. There are a couple things on this list I would rather eat than a cold Krispy Kreme. But a cold Krispy Kreme is still better than most of the stuff on this list. I think, yeah, that and also a hot Krispy. A fresh hot Krispy Kreme donut from Krispy Kreme mm-hmm. when the hot lights on right off the conveyor belt excels this so much more. It just rocket ships it right to its eye if, if it if we were just talking about that alone mm-hmm. and not including the grocery store Krispy Kremes, there needs to be a whole nother tier, right? Because it blows everything out of the water. Yeah. So. If you have a fucking dirty three week old Krispy Kreme <laughs> and it ruins the experience, all Krispy Kreme donuts as a whole are still better than everything on this list. Right. <sighs> so right to the top. <laughs> so right to the top, baby. What the hell is this one? The cheese cracker things? Uh oh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Ooh. Toasty cheese peanut butter. So like peanut, a, butter peanut, peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter crackers. Those are good. Like those. those are very good. Mouth watering? Mm, delicious. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm putting it at the top though. Okay. Because they're not a chip. Right. Cheese it's kind of mm. now you're not a cheese guy. No. Cheese it's pretty great. They are. I would put them under mouth watering. Okay. Because they're like they're like goldfish for adults. Yes. I guess you could say. But they're going one tier below goldfish because goldfish are more fun. Can I put them above Cheetos? Yes. I'd rather eat Cheez-Its than Cheetos. Yes. Pop secret popcorn. That's There's zero fun in this one. 
It's very hard to eat popcorn not watching a movie. Mm -hmm. You know? There are there are sickos out there. There are there that are. will just put popcorn in the microwave just for fun. Just to have, yeah. Just to have. Yeah. So that's not that's like not I like a, popcorn, mm -hmm. but I have to be watching a movie in order to really, like really enjoy popcorn. Yeah. So I saw a TikTok of a guy. So he went to go see Avatar, mm -hmm. and he said, "This was how I got my popcorn at the movie theater." And he showed this guy freaking shoveling the popcorn, doing yeah. a flip, putting the putting the butter in, shoveling more popcorn, doing a flip. It was really cool. And he called himself the popcorn guy, and his name tag at the t at the AMC theater said yeah. the popcorn guy. Damn. I guess they really gotta like do everything they can to get you to go to the movies. But that's good popcorn. This is no, no bullshit no, popcorn. No. All popcorn tastes the same. <laughs> no, you're putting butter on that. This has the shitty baked in butter. That's not the same at all. It's close. <laughs> okay, fine. You ever been to Alamo Draft House and get that butter? No. Or, or that the popcorn. I got that. Um, some fancy. I think it was a popcorn they specifically made for the Batman. Yeah. It was really good. What? Did it taste like grime? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> yes. It was poison. Uh, <laughs> I don't want. I want to put this at really low. What do you want to put? I would put it mid, like delicious. No, pretty good above Fritos. Okay, fine. Reese's Pieces. Now we're into the candy bars. Well, those are Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, and those are to die for. Yeah, they're good. Next question. I'm putting them at the bottom though. Fine, because because I, I, it's not my first choice when I'm going to the Seven Eleven, but. Reese's are great. Yes. That's my first choice if we're talking, you know, Halloween candy. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Dark Type says Reese's pieces are shit. He didn't say the shit. He said shit. Do I ban him? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we will not stand for that in this house. There you go. Uh, Hershey's. Garbage. No. A regular ass Hershey bar is not garbage. I it's have good. I have to. All right. You ever hear that American chocolate has like a little oh taste of like puke? I don't give a I shit. Heard, I know. I, I don't I, give I, a I, shit. I heard that. And now every time I have specifically Hershey's, because there's nothing else, it's just the chocolate, it tastes like puke. Uh, and I can't get me, that I, out of my head. I'm from Europe where we have superior chocolate on beans. They do. Yes, they have it, it, tastes like, it tastes like God's urine. Just now in I your have mouth. to spend $16 for a bar of chocolate oh when I go to Whole Foods God. to get the chocolate for the coffee oh because God. I don't want to get the stupid. You, you foreigners have come into this country and ruined chocolate for all of us. They, and if, if they didn't say that it tastes like puke, I would have never known. Well, but I've, it fucking does. I've heard and that ruined many Hershey's. a time. And I eat, still eat Hershey this day because it doesn't taste like puke. It's it so it good. It so does taste like puke. You don't think it has like a little tinge? No, of a, uh, no, I do not. Fucking stupid. It's not going very high. It's not going very low. Where do you want to put it? Where do you want to put it? And then subtract like two tiers. <laughs> well, where do you want to put it? And then add two tiers. It's going to the bottom of delicious. Fine. And that's because. I want it to be all the way at the bottom above Fig Newtons. Okay? No. It is delicious. It stays in delicious. Fine. Whatever. Asshole. Snickers are great. Snickers are great. Snickers are to die for? I yes. used to go to the... seven. If I wasn't feeling very good, this was me in my in my early 20s, late teens. Yes. If I wasn't feeling, feeling very good, maybe I had a little bit of headache, I'd go to the 7-Eleven, get a dollar can of Arizona iced tea, mm -hmm. either the green tea or the... Uh, they have a green tea lemonade. That yes. My favorite. And uh, a Snickers. And then, I would, well, and then I would feel great. All those commercials, you know, eat a Snickers. It's true, though. Yeah. I'm it putting is. it below Reese's. That's fine. That works for me. What the fuck is a Mars bar? I've had a Mars bar before, <laughs> but I don't remember what it tastes like. I think it's just chocolate and nougat, but I might be wrong. Isn't that's a that's a Milky Way? No, Milky Way is caramel. Oh, oh, Musketeers. Three, Three Musketeers, Musketeers yeah. is just chocolate and nougat. So this is chocolate and nougat. Something else. I feel like oh, caramel and nougat, but that's a fucking three. Oh, that's a that's a Milky Way. But the Milky Way is already on this list. I think is it's this a regional thing. I think so. I think it's. I mean, Mars bars used to be more popular in other countries. Mm -hmm. 
Like I think they started to bring it into America. It was manufactured in 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 Slough, England. Yeah. Uh, our Milky Way only has nougat. You mean, are you British? <laughs> it is a peanutless Snickers, but that's what a Milky Way is. U.S. Mars are three Musketeers with caramel too. That's a Milky Way. Hold on. Hold on. Milky Way has no nuts. Where are the nuts? Milky Way is a brand of chocolate covered confectionery bar manufactured by Mars Incorporated. There are two varieties. The U.S. Milky Way bar, which is sold by Mars uh, worldwide, including Canada. And the global Milky Way bar, which is sold as three musketeers in the U.S. and Canada. But this says it has caramel. And I see it broken open and that looks like caramel in there. That's a Mars bar. Yeah. And caramel. It even says it on the on the packaging. Okay. The U.S. Milky Way bar is sold as a Mars bar worldwide. Okay. So the American... Oh, there is no Milky Way on this list. The American Milky Way bar is nougat, nougat caramel, and chocolate. The international Milky Way bar has no caramel. Okay. And the international... Milky Way bar is known the, the international Milky Way bar is known in this country as a Three Musketeers bar. Okay, that makes yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, there is no Milky Way on this list. So, Mars bar is a Milky Way. Well, us. the international Milky Way is on this list, but that's our Three Musketeers. I don't see Three Musketeers. Because it's milk you see, you oh, see I, oh, I see. I didn't see because it's blue. It's weird yes. and different. Yeah, that's what it's. That's weird because this is American snacks. Yes. <laughs> so they fucked up this list. Yes. All right. So Mars bars is, all intents and purposes, Mars bars is a milky. It's an American Milky Way. Yes. Okay. We cleared it up. Yes. Co- Combat Wizard says no. Mars bar is Mars bar. No, it's not. <laughs> You're European or something. <laughs> I, the chat was going nuts. Like, no, it's this. No, it's this. We figured it out. Yeah. All right. Mars bar, Milky Way. Milky Way is pretty good. Should I put it below Snickers? Because it's a Snickers without peanuts. Yes. Okay. Twix, also very good. Yes. Uh, Twix, uh, to die for. Do I put it above Reese's? Do I dare? No, you love Reese's. Reese's. I do. How would you do that? Why would you do that? Yourself? You know what it is? It's that what? cookie crunch that Twix cookie has. Cookie crunch is fucking <laughs> sick. Yeah. Uh... I'll I'll put it above Mars. I'm not putting okay. it above Snickers. Okay. I'd rather have a Snickers. Okay. Milky Way. Now, this is Three Musketeers. This is Three Musketeers. I used to love Three Musketeers. The problem is, you know, Three Musketeers is chocolate and nougat. Mm-hmm. That's not enough. That's not enough flavor, yeah. you know? I love a Three Musketeers, or I used to love a Three yeah. Musketeers, and now it's like I could get more at it exactly. any of these other ones. Exactly. It's, it's not enough flavor complexity for my sophisticated palate. Yeah. So. I, I'll put it in mouthwatering below Chips Ahoy. Okay. Uh, what's a bounty? I don't know. Oh, it's got coconut. No, gross. Get it, get to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally just a chocolate with coconut. Is that... We're putting that in not great. Yeah. Where in not great? I though? don't know. I guess above Fig Newtons. <laughs> sure. Uh, Kit Kats. And this is the international design of Kit Kat, but they're basically the same thing. Yeah. Kit Kats are great. Kit Kats, Kit are, Kats great. are to die for. This I might allow to be above Reese's. Okay. Because it's the cookie crunch. Yeah. And it's all four. it's all cookie and crunch. And you get four of them. And you get four of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it. And I know we're not accounting for other flavors. Yeah. But there's nothing. It's 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 an Oreo levels of other flavors. Yeah. You know? Toblerone. Toblerones Actually, are pretty good. good. Toblerones are pretty good. good. Yes. <laughs> I agree. I enjoy Toblerones. The, it's just chocolate though. Yeah. Um, but it's Swiss chocolate, so therefore it tastes better You're than right. the American chocolate. Ooh, it does, I'm, actually. I know it doesn't taste chocolate. like puke. So, I want to put it in mouth-watering because it's just chocolate. Yeah, you can put it in mouth-watering. But where? Top? Uh, above definitely, definitely above Milky Way. Okay, I'll put it at the top. Okay. 
M and M's, peanut M and M's, to die for. Those are the superior M and M's. Uh, okay. Do they go above Kit Kats? I would put them in between Reese's and Snickers. Okay, I agree. Uh, Reese's. Uh, what, what the fuck am I? Rice Krispie treats. Rice Krispie treats. Jesus Christ! Rice Krispie treats are fantastic. They these were my go-to breakfast for like a solid <laughs> fifteen years. This was the cost every Costco trip. Yes. At the Wolf household yes. was was the, the had to have a giant pack of Reese's. Because look, uh, or they're Rice Krispie it's, treats. It's just cereal in bar form, so I could eat it for breakfast. And again at lunch with my ham sandwich. This is literally, I think, the only snack we had in the house. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, we I got sick of it pretty quick. I mean, but it was still great. I would, I, I would still eat it, but I like I've graduated to like Nature Valley Bar because I'm would bald. had them at his house. And I oh really? Ran right to him, yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So where does it go? To die for? Do they go to to die for, or do we put them in mouth watering? Because we've we've. Technically, we've aged out of them. We gotta spread them out a little bit. I'm putting them at the top of mouth watering. Okay, because I'd still rather have a Rice Krispie treat than a Toblerone. Right. Milk duds are not good. No. I'm putting them above Bounty. Okay. What Fifth Avenue? Fifth, I've heard of a Fifth Avenue bar. I don't really think I've ever at the bottom here. I don't think I've ever had one though. Avenue. Bar. The next one is Tootsie Roll. I feel like in my old age, that's going to pull all my teeth out. I can eat like one of the small Tootsie Rolls like you get in a goodie bag. Yeah. I can't eat that large Tootsie Roll that is pictured yes. in there. It's too much. Yeah, you're right. You know? I, I, I wouldn't mind a small one, but yeah. a big one is going to be... Yeah, I, I don't know. So I, don't know I, I would put it at the bottom... Like, Maybe the middle of pretty good. I'll put it below Fritos. Okay, because it's that it's that asterisk of it has to be like the small version, mm. you know. Because otherwise, it, that's just too much Tootsie Roll. Uh, Suki Kagura says, "Does Butterfinger still exist?" Yes. Yes. And if Butterfingers were on this list, they would be very high. Yes. And to die for, despite the fact that they stick to your teeth. I think that's my go-to. If if uh. When I go to fucking Cold Stone, yeah. I get I get I get the mint ice cream okay. with the butterfinger mix in. Ooh. It's that's nice. Good. A Fifth Avenue bar uh consists of peanut butter crunch layers enrolled mm. in chocolate. It is produced by the Hershey Company. So that sounds like that sounds really good. That that's just a butterfinger. Let's not put it on the list. Okay. But that sounds really good. Yeah. I want it. But it's it does sound very much like a Butterfinger. Yeah. The same deal. Well, Butterfinger is like really flaky and crunchy. Yeah. This to me sounds more like a Nutter Butter with chocolate okay. around it, you know? Baby Ruth. I actually kind of like Baby Ruth. Uh, what's in a Baby Ruth again? It looks like a shit. It looks like a I know. Like I've, a I've seen Caddyshack. Uh, it's a lot of peanuts. Okay. It's a payday, but with chocolate over it. It's peanuts oh, and caramel. Oh, so it's a good payday. <laughs> yeah. I used to get this if I was hungry. Right. And needed a little Peanuts, snack. caramel, and milk chocolate flavored nougat. Okay. All right. That's a good, that sounds like a good time. Uh, put it at, uh, delicious. Okay. I'm putting it at the top. Yeah. Put it at the top of delicious. Whoppers are bad. My memory of Whoppers is a friend of mine went to another friend of mine's house at like like four in the morning and just threw Whoppers at his window. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think of Whoppers. And I'm trying to get the one friend to get revenge on the other friend by throwing Burger King Whoppers at his window. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet, but it's going to eventually. Uh, that could break the window. I know. They're very hard. <laughs> Uh, Whopper. I I don't think anybody wants a Whopper. No, those are not great candy. No, they're like okay if there's nothing else going yeah. on. Uh, I'll put them at the bottom of pretty good. How about that? Okay. Uh, now we're on to like actual candy, like Laffy Taffy and Airheads. I like don't I don't, like nobody. I don't like those. I don't like this shit. No, Laffy Taffy is bad. Yeah, I'm putting it at the top of not great. Okay. 
Airheads are pretty good. I've never really liked Airheads. We used to have them all the time. I never had them. I used I to have them all the yeah. time. I'm going to put them at the top of pretty good. At the top of pretty good? Yeah. No. I'd rather have an airhead than a fucking piece of popcorn. No, I'd rather eat a whole bag of popcorn than an, than right. an airhead. I'm putting it below the piece of popcorn. And and that's final. I'm not putting it below Fritos. I don't agree with this. I do, I'm do. i voicing my opinion right now. I Fruit roll-ups, though, are great. Those are better. Problem is I'm old and I can't really eat fruit roll-ups anymore. Okay. There so, is a lot of it. Yeah. Can I put it at the bottom of delicious? It's a fruit roll-up. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Jolly Ranchers. You used to love Jolly Ranchers. I used to love the citrus flavor Jolly Ranchers. I would never want a Jolly Rancher now. Yeah. I would refuse if you asked. If yeah, you if you were to offer me now, probably wouldn't wouldn't take one. Uh top of not great? Yeah, I guess. I, I guess above a laffy taffy. Twizzlers. Yeah. Twizzlers are not bad. No. Uh, f- I what all- are they called? What are they? Red, vines Red vines for the for the West Coast? Yeah. Um a, a freaking Englishman made this. <laughs> I don't know. I would not Twizzlers are nowhere near like my top pick yeah. for a snack. Yeah. But if they're around, I'm eating one. If they're around, I would not. Okay. Like I they're not even they don't even register in my mind. I'm putting them at the top pretty good. Okay. Again, disagree, <laughs> but are these are Keebler cookies? Are yeah. Keebler, oh, cookies, Keebler cookies are sick. sick. They are awesome. Mouth watering. Uh, bite size M and M's. Those are the ones. Are these crunchy though? I don't think they are. They. Oh, they are. It's the it's the it's the bite sized ones. So yeah, I think they so are. probably crunchy. Even uh, still though, Keebler uh, cookies, banging cookies. I want to put. They are definitely above Chips Ahoy. I'd yes. rather have this than a Chips. Yeah. Ahoy. Should I put it at the top of mouth water? Put it just put it above Chips Ahoy. Okay. Like in between that and Toblerone. Okay. We got Mike and Ike. I actually, I like Mike and Ike. Okay. I would eat some Mike and Ike. I would defer to you because I don't really eat Mike and Ike. These are the citrusy ones. Yeah. These are the, the tropical ones. Good Mike. Mike and okay. Ike's are good. Uh, I will put them below. I might put them above a fruit roll up because they're citrusy and I okay. like citrus in this house. Uh, nerds. Rainbow nerds. Nerds are shit. Yeah, nerds are not good. No. Uh, putting them above milk duds. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. We're, Again, we don't not, really like sour stuff. Yeah, but I'm not mad at a Sour Patch Kid. Yeah. Again, it's one of those things I can't really eat anymore because like mm-hmm. can't have it on my teeth because I'm 35. So I'll put it above. I'll put it at the top. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Pop Tarts, but this is the strawberry Pop Tart. So I'm going to choose that. This is just representative of all Pop Tarts. Now. This is because the Pop Tarts are such a wide variety of things. I I understand, but we did say with Oreos and with Kit Kats and with Chips Ahoy that we're only talking about what's there. So it seems a little unfair. I get well, but even still, like you know. There's a wide variety of Chips Ahoy. I would still say it fits in the mouth watering. There's a wide variety of Oreos and Kit Kats. I still think that to die for mm-hmm. is like the best. The best Oreo is what do we say the Cinnabon Oreo. Yes, and that is to die for. Yes, the best Chips Ahoy is the Red Bag Chips Ahoy. Well, we're not- That's still mouth watering. I don't think we're. I haven't been voting on all of these based on what the best flavor is. It's more so. What is in the picture? Okay, whatever is but in I the think, picture. I think that you know because Pop Tarts is such a wide variety, you can't like more so than Chips Ahoy and Oreos and Kit Kats. You can't limit it based on what that one picture. I says. think what's happening here is that Pop Tarts are so fucking great. Yeah, but they're showing us the strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> they're not giving us a lot to work with. Yeah, here. and that's why it seems wrong. To vote on Pop Tarts based on just the strawberry because it's not their strongest flavor. Yeah, I will say though, I kind of really like the strawberry. Strawberry is not bad. It's not my first pick, no. but I would put that pretty high. Mm-hmm. I would put it in mouth watering. I'm putting it at the top. Okay, it's definitely better than. Uh, uh, I keep blanking on rice crispy rice crispy treats. I want to say Reese's. Yeah. 
I might put Pop Tarts higher than that to die for. Even okay. though it's even though it's, it's the, the strawberry, flavor, yeah. I would still rather have the strawberry pop tart than any okay. of the chocolate stuff, I think. Okay. I'm gonna put it below the Oreo. Okay. Uh Cracker Jacks are great. They are good. They're a little arrogant because for a long time <laughs> their commercials were the greatest snack ever invented. And I feel like that's a little that much. That is a little much. But and you cr- can also choke on the prize yeah. inside. But Cracker Jacks are good. Cracker Jacks are good. Um, mouth watering above Cheetos. Yes. Okay. Uh, Swedish fish. <laughs> They're pretty good. You know why I laugh every time I hear Swedish fish, right? I it's an inside joke, but I don't remember it. Uh, f- a f- friend of ours who shall remain nameless went on a date with a girl, and all he said to her was, "You want a Swedish fish?" And that was the end. That of- was it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think they're good. Maybe above... Do they go... No, they go below a Mike and Ike. Okay. Uh, Twinkies are fucking fantastic. Yes, they are. Are they to die for? Or are they merely mouth-watering? That's the question. This is a hard one. Yeah. Uh, because it's... a younger Will would die for a Twinkie, but an older Will will simply just eat them. <laughs> I want to put it into die for, mm-hmm. but does it go above the chocolate or below it? No, I would put it at the bottom of to die for. Okay. Done. Nutter butter. Those are good cookies. Those are pretty good. Uh, mouth watering, like mid mouth watering. Yeah, I'll put them below chips away. Okay. Uh, Skittles. Skittles are good. <laughs> They're good. They're good. Yeah. Maybe above a Mike and Ike. Yeah, definitely above a Mike okay. and Ike. Uh, jelly Belly. I don't like Jelly Belly. No, no, it's like it's like eighty percent bad flavors. Yeah. Uh, not great. Yeah, but I'm putting them no. at the top. Yeah. Uh, lifesavers. Oh, these are the hard ones. Ew. I mean, that's the standard lifesavers. Yeah, I'd rather have the gummies. Can't remember the last time I've had like a lifesavers. This is a on. whole bag of hard yeah. lifesavers. <laughs> I mean, nowadays, if I get it's not even the roll. It's it's a yeah. whole bag. Once you open it, I don't even that's know if it. they make the roll of like Lifesavers hard candy anymore. Nowadays, all I ever see is like the Lifesavers mints in the yeah. roll. Yeah, this so, is, this is a. I wouldn't mind having one, but a whole bag. That is that picture screams of the airport candy. Yeah, <laughs> this is not good. This is a. Yeah. Uh, I put it above Doritos. <laughs> okay. Um, combos, the pizza ones though. Those okay. Pizza combos, particularly the pepperoni pizza combos, are fantastic. Yeah. I often find myself if I'm at Seven Eleven, I see the small bag of pizza combos, just grab it because yeah. they are so good. They are so good, in fact, that if you were to put pe- pepperoni pizza combos and then regular combos next to it. Pepperoni pizza combos would go towards the top, and regular combos would go to the bottom of not great. Wow. That's how much I don't like any, all the other combos. So where does pizza combos go? In I, I would put them... Do I put them at the top of mouthwater? That much? They're so good! I don't know if I would pick that over a cookie. True. I would I would put it in between the two cookies. Okay, I get behind that. I'd rather have the combos than a chips ahoy, but I'd rather have the Keebler. Than yes. Than the okay. Welch's fruit snacks are fucking great. Yes, they are. How great are they? Mm-hmm. I think they're delicious. Great. Okay, I'm putting them at the top though. Okay, they're better than everything else in the yes. delicious. And we're done. Yes, we have done. We have made that's the definitive it. list of every snack that's ever existed. Yes. Uh. And this is what you abide by when you yes. go to the 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to read off all of them, but I'll tell you what's in the to die for, the top tier. Number one, without a doubt, unequivocally, Krispy Kreme donuts. Yes. I think that this is unfair <laughs> because this is the only one that you could get fresh. True. So that, true. that is a cheat. Yes. They shouldn't be on this list. Yeah. But because they were on this list, 
they win absolutely yes it's like imagine if they fucking put on here like a bakery black and white cookie yeah like you can't do that yeah number two is goldfish yes the snack that great. smiles back so really goldfish is the winner and i'm surprised <laughs> yeah. i didn't think that they would win oreos milk's favorite cookie now that's i yes. think pretty obvious yeah. in, the, in this if you're a listener of this podcast pop tarts right after that yes i think that's well deserved mm -hmm. if that was a better flavor of pop tart it would be number one yes if it was brown sugar even yes. i might argue <laughs> to make it number one but it had to go with the other regular flavor yeah. and they picked the wrong one uh then kit kat reese's m&ms uh snickers twix mars and twinkies it's everything in the top yes two. Bottom tier, you want to read those? Jelly Bellies, <laughs> Jolly Ranchers, Laffy Taffy, Snyder's fucking mustard and onion. Yeah. Like Shrek over here. Yeah. Uh, Lifesavers hard candy, but in a bag. Doritos Cool Ranch. We're going to get some, some letters for that one. Let them come. Funyuns, Rainbow Nerds, Milk Duds, Bounty, and Fig Newtons in that order. Yes. What's your favorite Pop-Tart? Says Ghost of Gordy. Uh, I do like brown sugar pop tarts. I don't care what anyone says. You know they, what? But they also have a cinnamon bun one. Yes. You know what? You know what pop tarts good. I really like the chocolate chip cookie pop tarts. I was gonna say that those are very. So good. there's two different ones. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie and chocolate chip cookie dough. And I like the chocolate chip cookie dough because you put it in the oven. It's a little soft, yeah. and you put it in the oven, and then you just get a cookie. See, I don't think I've had the cookie dough one. I've had the chocolate chip cookie one. Oh, well, next the cookie time. Filling, the chocolate chip filling and the chocolate drizzle on it. Oh, that's the difference. That's yeah. the filling. Yeah. This is literally, it's just a cookie. Okay. It's just a big cookie. They ha You know what's really good? The pretzel pop tarts. Oh, like, yeah. Those are good. But the they're like not, it's not a pretzel. It's just a fucking, I know. it's just a brown sugar one with salt on top. Yeah. But yeah. I still like it. <laughs> yes. Uh, There's plenty of great pop tarts. Yeah. Flavors. But yeah, I think the cookie dough one is my favorite. But- they also have the cinnamon bun, which is also very good. Ooh. Imagine having a whole hour podcast after the worst possible day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Make your own, then. Yeah, do one. Is there a link? Sure, here it is. I'll, I'll link you. Yeah. That's not for hours, but... No, whatever. that's... For you to try and convince us we're wrong. You won't. You won't. What should we do now? I guess we should do the uh, games coming out next year. I guess. Let's uh, throw it to our uh, notifications, though, and see who wants to shit on us for our bad opinions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where did I leave? Oh, my God. Uh, a kid at heart with 10 months. I don't see corn nuts. <laughs> I didn't know people still eat corn nuts. I didn't see uh, uh, pork rinds either. Uh, dark type with 100 bits. As long as we can agree that Oreos and Sour Patch Kids are S++ tier, then I won't unsubscribe. Well, I got well, bad, bad news, news for you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Soba said, with six months says, can't sub for a while, but I'm back, baby. Oh, couldn't sub for a while. Thank you. Hello. Welcome, Welcome. back. Uh, J Flem with 40 months. Goldfish ranked correctly, gentlemen. Of course. We're getting some positive yeah. feedback. Uh, Sleeping Toads TV with 19 months Yeet, hello, how you doing? Dark type with 100 bits, yeah, Oreo supremacy Oh no, he's about to be way disappointed <laughs> uh, Morning 5 with the Prime sub, Mecha Dragon with 100 bits Bob, do you plan on uploading on your personal channel Anytime soon? No uh, Dark type with 100 bits No way y'all put nerds At the bottom, we did it I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dark type I also timed you out <laughs> <laughs> Uh, barbecue corn nuts are huge in the Midwest USA. Well, that's the problem. We're East Coast elitists, so we don't really know what's going on in the Midwest. True. Uh, so you long boys are just chocolate and goldfish guys. Yeah. We're not More or less. really chip guys. Yeah. I mean, like I like chips. If you put a bowl of potato chips in front of me, I will eat them all, but... It's not the first thing I go to when I want a snack. Yeah. Uh, the snacks. I uh, I go straight to cookies and yeah. pastries and stuff. That's my shit. Ganthet, thank you for the 16 months. Okay. Uh, let's look at games that yeah. are coming out next year. This year, it looks like it's going to be a big year for games. Uh, Sure. Starting January, of course. Sure. Possibly the biggest game coming out. 
One Piece Odyssey. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, Forspoken is allegedly coming out in January, January 24th. We'll see what's going to happen with that game. I've been shitting on that game. Yes. Because it doesn't look that great. Right. Um, all of the previews seem very strange. I yes. have a lot of questions. And, and it just seems like a lot of flair with yeah. no substance. Yeah. And uh, they released the demo. I haven't tried it, but I did not hear great things. Yeah. So... I, I think that's gonna. I I don't know if that's anybody's most anticipated game. Yeah, I feel like that's a game that probably could have been somebody's most anticipated game. Yeah, but it's it's never put its best foot forward. What is so special about it? It's just a. It seems like the just a regular old AAA. <sighs> yeah, I don't really know. I guess like it's got fancy particle effects. Yeah, and it's got like that type of dialogue where, you know the. You you talk a lot, so therefore it's funny. The Marvel, yeah, the style. Marvel style, yeah. yeah, which is going out of fashion it's now. People are getting, very quick. People are getting sick of it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I I never saw the appeal of that game. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't didn't make any sense to me. Um, on a more serious note, though, we got uh, Dead the Dead Space remake, which I didn't know was coming out in January. That should be interesting. Even though I'm not, oh, yeah. I'm not exactly for it. I just learned today that Callisto Protocol, the cutscenes are 24 frames a second. Really? That's pretty good. That's Digital cool. Foundry uh, said that because of that, there's weird stuttering because the frame rate doesn't match up to like a full okay 60, but that doesn't really make sense to me. Well, there would be a weird transition between gameplay and cutscenes. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that for sure. Yeah. yeah, that would happen. Surprised they did that. Yeah, I am too. I kind of... I kind of, it's a controversial opinion. Yeah. But I think certain games should just be in 24 frames a second. Like, uh, what was that one? The Order 1886. That was in 30. That was in 30. Yeah. They should have just made it 24. They should have just dropped it. Because they did, they went for 30 for the cinema. They cl claimed for the cinematic experience. Really, is because the graphics were good on yeah. PlayStation 4. And they had to, uh, they didn't have a lot to work with. Yeah. Uh, I think they should have just bit the bullet and made it 24 to make it actually cinematic yeah i mean i'm not one to like i've never been one to like ra rally against somebody like for making their game like one frame rate over the other as long as it's consistent mm -hmm. so i do feel like because traditionally because tvs traditionally were not 24 frames a second here they were 60 in the u.s they were 60 frames a second so you know v video uh VHS, VCR makers, DVD makers, and even uh, video game makers would adhere to that standard and yeah. would try to like make something applicable to that. So, 60 hertz interlace would be 30 frames per second. That's why everything was either 30 or 60 frames per second. Uh, nowadays, of course, you can do whatever fucking frame rate you want. So, 24 frames a second makes sense. I don't think 24 is a problem adapting it to. Uh, display that 60 because i mean i i do it all the time in a, in a timeline yeah I, i'll um if i have a lot of gameplay footage i'll make the timeline 60 frames but my footage is 24 yeah and you can't really i mean you know there's a there's definitely a jarring cut when, yeah. when you see gameplay but the video footage doesn't have any weird jumps or anything yeah. like what digital foundry was claiming yeah i want to watch what they were talking about more and see what what exactly they were talking about with yeah. specifically Callisto Protocol because I just heard them talk about it in passing. Um, I, what I saw was they had a they did a podcast recently. This is also news that we're probably not going to talk about, but Digital Foundry said that they talked to, to, to developers and there's was probably supposed to be a Switch Pro or a Switch iteration oh. that um, got um, canceled. Okay. But we talked about this like a billion times. Yeah. So I don't I really think like, it's like big news. Yeah. Um, and anyway, part of that podcast where they talked about that, they talked about Callisto Protocol being 24 frames per second and how there's like a weird jitter. Right. So I want to know more about what they're talking about because okay. my understanding is there shouldn't be a jitter at all. Yeah. Um, Dragan says people freak out about frame rate, but as long as it's not stuttering or laggy, it's fine, I think. Yeah. I know that seeing 24 frames per second on paper for a video game is going to freak people out because the higher the frame rate, the better. Right. In their eyes. Yeah. But if we're going for a cinematic look, 
I think it could look fucking sick. Yeah. Seeing a I low think frame. not all games, you know, need to be high frame rate. Yeah, if it's especially if it's not a competitive game, if it's just yeah. a like Call of Duty should not be in sixty. It should not be less than sixty frames. Right. Even if it's just for the uh, single player, like still, it, yeah, you would benefit from having a higher frame rate. Uh, rather than like a cinematic look, but right. a game like Callisto Polis- Protocol, or even like a Resident Evil, or like one of the Telltale games. That yeah, the that, Telltale yeah. games; those should be at a low yeah. frame rate. I think there's merit to having a a, a a a small frame rate if you're going for a cinematic look. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we were talking about games that are coming out yes uh f- anything else look interesting to you in january uh persona four three and four uh because we already Switch. got five yes uh, uh i see age of empires 2 is coming to xbox one and series x that's weird yes uh fire emblem engage is that the is that the crest toothpaste i think one? so <laughs> yeah people are excited for fire emblem yeah. engage i think it looks w- w- I don't want. Is the word worse? I think it looks worse than Three Houses, even though it's like the next Fire Emblem game. I don't know, man. I can't keep up with all these Fire Emblem games. It just. Three Houses looked more like there was more in it. Yeah. This one just looks like a like a strategy game. Yeah. Almost like a mobile game. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, February. February. We got uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Remember, it's okay to pirate that game. (laughs) So. We're not Harry Potter people. And we talk about no. this, and we're, and we're like on the same page that it's, we don't give a shit about this game. Right? We don't give a shit about Harry Potter. Right. I will say though, I saw two seconds of a demo the other day mm-hmm. where they're flying around on the broomstick, and that was the first time I ever said this game looked kind of sick. I would be. I would flying around on the broomstick looked fucking awesome. I would be willing to give a Harry Potter game a shot like a fair shot because you know if i if i do get to fly around on a broomstick and do like weird fun magic stuff i could possibly get into that you know maybe not like as my regular thing but i could if it's done well enough i could get into it what is a game that has good flying mechanics i'm trying to think there because th- i can't think of one there's an- and this looked like it might do that well right and that is kind of a huge deal yeah it's really hard to do flying like consistently well yeah like especially like like not aircraft flying like people flying like superman style you're adding another dimension yeah yeah and also like airplane flying usually that's the whole game yeah unless it's fucking grand theft auto yeah uh but having a person fly and then also just walk around There's usually something weird because it really does kind of screw you up because you know traditionally when you when you play a flight sim, you know when you pl- when you play like a regular action game, forward is forward and back is back, but when you add flight to the mix, all of a sudden the right analog stick controls your you know forward and back, and the left analog stick controls pitch and yaw and yeah, it's it's it, it screws everything it's very up. complicated. Yeah, yeah. So, it's switching back and forth between walking yeah. and and flying, and also like. Last thing is throttle. Yeah. Like instead of holding forward to go forward, Mm -hmm. you now have a throttle to go forward. Yeah. And it's like you're not actually like flying a plane. You are the guy. But also like what makes Superman fly? Yeah. We don't know the (laughs) physics of how he moves. through. Does he manipulate the air around him? We have no idea. I mean, technically he just jumps and goes. (laughs) Yeah. But how does he stop midair then? Yeah. He's got to manipulate the air around him or something. Yeah. And that doesn't make any fucking sense. No. So. So so if you're playing a Superman game and you go forward by holding a, what does that do? We don't know. Yeah. So uh, what we're trying to say is make a Superman game. (laughs) Tech Niner says Spyro has flying. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Spyro does have flying. Like, you can just fly. You can just get up and yeah. fly. Or is it like different levels? That I think you can just get up and fly. Interesting. Uh, also in February, oh, PSVR 2 comes out. Okay, I'm going to... I don't want that, but I'm going to get it because I, I feel obligated to make a video, but I'm not interested in it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, it's... I know like VR technically like has happened, but it's still very niche. And I feel like 
what they're charging for it is going to keep it niche for a very long time especially compared to like now that the the quest 2 is like still yeah. much less expensive than and, and it doesn't need a external device yeah i mean that's probably going to be my video on it is comparing this with the quest 2 yeah this should have a lot better technology and it should be yeah just a the display should look better and stuff mm -hmm. but i don't know how much more worth it it'll be to have to a tether i'm gonna have yeah. to have it plugged in that's yeah. gonna be weird so i don't know uh horizon call of the mountain oh a lot of psvr stuff is gonna be yeah released. well call of the mountain is the, like the big one like yeah. that's the killer app quote unquote uh remember blood bowl yes there's three of them uh, apparently <laughs> okay uh company of heroes is uh, getting a pc release what well yeah that's the third company of heroes game that's a pc series oh i'm i i i'm thinking of a different game <laughs> uh kirby return to dreamland deluxe that's coming in february no that's a wii game yes no no Kirby? yes yes it's a wii game okay i'm thinking of epic yarn because i thought epic no. yarn was the only kirby game on wii no this this is a wii game it's getting ported to the switch okay yay kerbal space program 2 uh octopath traveler 2 mm -hmm. destiny 2 lightfall the dlc yes okay that will not bring me back into destiny but good try uh march the last of us part one comes to pc uh skull and bones allegedly finally comes out i'm i'm not buying it no one should buy that no, game no i mean i'm not buying that it's coming out yeah, i don't I'll, think i don't think it's coming out yeah me neither but you should also should not buy that game <laughs> um also coming out march jedi uh survivor i want to beat fallen order before i know now i really got to beat fallen order in order to because this looks exciting yeah i well i've been diving in and out of fallen order on because I, I bought it for 10 bucks on steam yeah so I put it on my Steam Deck and I've been playing it for like videos and stuff yeah. to show off the graphics. And it plays really well on the Steam Deck. Yeah. And I just kind of want to play through it. I know, right? So it's great. It, from what I've played so far, I've only played like a few minutes of it and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, so. it's, it's really good. I forgot where I left off, but like I'm, I'm usually the type of person if I, if I don't play a game for a very long time because I haven't played it in years, like I'll probably just want to start over. But I kind of want to just pick up where I left off and see yeah. if I can continue on. So. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get through Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, uh, and then I'll get through Jedi uh, Fallen Order. But uh, Frontiers is kind of a drag right now. Yeah, it, it, I'm kind of sick of the open world. I don't want to do all these missions to unlock yeah, I, I the levels. I just want to do the levels. I haven't touched Frontiers in a while. Yeah. We're trying to finish Roller Drum, and then I'll go back to Frontiers. Uh, Bayonetta Origins. That Did you like this? Uh... This trailer, it was at the Game Awards. The Bayonetta I saw it. I thought cute. it was weird because, like, it just didn't look like there was any like gameplay. It just yeah. looked like you were walking around. Yeah, it. I couldn't tell what you do. It looks yeah. like you like throw out like a stand, and the yeah. stand like fights for you or whatever. I thought it looked cute, and I think it's interesting. Like, yeah, I'm interested in it. It's it's cool that they're taking Bayonetta in new directions. Yeah, I thought people were shitting all over. Of course they were. I thought that was really strange. Yeah. Um, and of course, people are bitching that it's a sixty dollars release. Of course, which I think is uh, fine. Yeah, if they, I mean, whatever. Yeah, um, the Resident Evil Four remake comes out. We will see how that does. I guess yeah. um, you will. That will be a, a, a purchase for you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, and then the System Shock remake is also coming out. Maybe. Also, that game Crime Boss, which has like, yes. all of those like yes. action uh, celebrities in it. That game's not going to be good. <laughs> no, that's not. No way. Uh, April Hogwarts Legacy for the last gen. Yes, that's, uh, that's scary. Yeah, that's not going to be. Something's going to be broken. No, and I think spoiler alert. I think the Switch port is also coming out later than that. <laughs> yeah, and that might not even actually happen. Yeah. Uh, also in April, uh, the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Okay. Uh, Dead Island 2, which has also been delayed a thousand times. Don't that think that's coming out. That might not come yeah. out, yeah. We haven't seen anything for that. No, we have not. That's not coming out. Uh, and then May, we have, uh, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, that is a hard date. That yeah. is actually gonna happen. Yeah. I think after Tears of the Kingdom, mm-hmm. Like that's gonna be the last real hurrah for the Switch. 
And then by the end of 2023, possibly mid-2024, Nintendo is going to unveil the successor to the Switch. I know, like, look, look. No, I'm I, with you. I'm I know, I know totally we talked about this before, about, like, how every day, like, oh, there's a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro rumor, and it's like, no, 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 no. And we've always said no, 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 no. But I think we finally reached the point where Nintendo can't deny that the Switch is getting yeah. a little long in the tooth. I am with you. Yeah. I think, I, I, I agree with that. I think it could be as early as late this year that they, yeah. that they unveil it or at least talk about it or say that it's in the works or or, or, or come out of hiding with it. Yeah. Um, I <clears throat> think it's possible that games like Hogwarts Legacy mm-hmm. might be, maybe it was in development for that weird uh switch pro situation maybe it's for the next switch and they are just putting it in limbo because they don't know when it's going to come out um which i think will ultimately kill hogwarts legacy i think i think that the next switch is going to take a while yeah and hogwarts legacy is gonna be like well fuck we don't want to right i think it that's like a like a what do you call it? A watchdog situation where yeah. watchdogs was like very clearly a next gen yeah. game and they just didn't say it. But yeah, I agree. I think tears of the kingdom uh, is like the last big one. Yeah. I'm uh, waiting for a Mario game. That'll yeah. probably be on the next switch. Thing. Yeah. Uh, also in may suicide squad killed the justice league. The game. Well, that'll make me cry. during a suicide squad games. Kevin Conroy's in it. <laughs> yeah. That makes me want to play it. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Yeah, it, like it looked too much like Sunset Overdrive, a game I did not like. And but... they and they didn't do a good job with uh, Arkham Knights. People Gotham didn't... Knights. Gotham Knights. Well, that was a different studio altogether. Yeah, this is the original Rocksteady studio from the original Arkham series. True. And so... I also didn't like Arkham Knight. True. Yeah, but this is a completely different style of gameplay. Sure. So maybe it's different. But again, it looks too much like Sunset Overdrive, a game I was not a fan of. Okay. Uh, June, we got Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6, Diablo 4, Final Fantasy 16, and that weird RoboCop game that looks surprisingly good. I don't think it looks good. I, I heard about it, and then I looked at the trailer, and I was like, ah, it's going to be like a weird like a weird movie game. It, it is, but I know it's the company that made that, that one Terminator game that got bad reviews, but everyone was like, yo, this Terminator game's fucking amazing. <laughs> so I'm interested to see like how it pans out. People are excited about Final Fantasy 16. It's yes. PlayStation 5 exclusive or timed exclusive. Yeah. Uh, Diablo 4, I guess, is a big deal. And Street Fighter 6, I might actually play. I might yeah. actually Street try Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 looks really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a beta like a week ago. Yeah. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy Switch is coming out in July. No, it's not. We'll see. August is Baldur's Gate. Yes, Baldur's and Gate that, 3. And then that's it for the hard... Or that's it for the... The, Dates that we can narrow down to a month. Yes. Uh, next is 2023, 2023 games with a launch window, but not a date. We have AEW Fight Forever. We have Battlefield Mobile. Killer Clowns really? from Outer Space, the game. I didn't know Battlefield Mobile was a game. Apparently. It's coming sometime next year. Six days ago, Android update. This looks like a full ass battlefield game for the phone. Yeah. Okay, whatever. That could be fun. Everyone's everyone's doing mobile version. Uh Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Okay. The game. That should be a good time. Um Rise of the Triad Ludicrous Edition. Which which one is Rise of the Triad again? I, I think I'm confusing no that idea. with Shadow Warrior. Yeah, Rise of the Triad is something different. Okay, never mind. That looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> um they doing construction upstairs? I guess. I don't know. That's Q1. Uh, Q2 is EA Sports PGA Tour. Okay. Uh, Q3 is more sports games. Oh, my God. Uh, R-Type Tactics. One and two Cosmos, baby. Ooh. Nice. R-Type is fun. Uh, Q4, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on the PS5. That is part two of the remake. Oh, yeah. That's right. And then NHL 24. And yeah. then... Oh, now we're going. Now we're really. Now wide. we're in the first half. Uh, Forza Motorsport is coming to Xbox Series X. Okay. What is what is that? Is that a reboot of? This I think series? it's. I think so. 
Because what was the last one? Seven? Forza Motorsport 7? That's Gran Turismo, wasn't it? Yo, but yes. There have been seven Forza Motorsports, and then the next one is just called Forza Motorsport. Yeah. This is Microsoft at its finest. Yeah. <laughs> the first Forza Motorsport was called Forza Motorsport in 2005. Yes. Um, also coming out in the first half of 2023, most notably Redfall and Starfield. Those are two the two big Microsoft exclusive. Starfield, Be- really? Yeah, the Bethesda games. That was 2024. Delayed. No. Supposed to come out this year, 2022. Really? Yeah, but it got they got delayed. So did Redfield. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. First half. Okay, yeah. that's not gonna happen. That's gonna be late. <laughs> that's gonna be late 2020 at most. I don't know. I feel like th- those games have to come out in 2023. Because mm-hmm. Microsoft has nothing. No, it's gonna come out in 2023, not the first half. It's getting delayed okay. for sure. Uh, you skipped over Hollow Knight. Oh, did I? Hollow Knight Silk Song. Oh, yeah. That is first half. Uh, that'll be in the later end of the first half, I think. But, but. But that is a big deal. I am excited for that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mid-year. We got Bomb Rush Cyberfunk! I'm excited for that. Yes, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I can finally yell that. And not have to worry about waking up my kids. (laughs) Uh, Freedom Planet 2 that's cool Freedom Planet 1 definitely a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game but a good one yeah I haven't actually played it I played a little bit of it it's good Uh, Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life that is Harvest Moon like good Harvest Moon right Freedom Planet is out on Steam I think okay Freedom Planet 2 this is just a console release Uh, Story of Seasons is Harvest Moon yes that's the good Harvest Moon just making sure the second uh, half of 2023 is Marvel Spider-Man 2 yes, for the PlayStation 5. Yes. So I will be buying a PlayStation 5 and by then that point. We only have games expected in 2023 with no launch date. Yes. And these are games that are wishy-washy. It's probably not... A, it's, yeah. It's not looking too good for some of these games. Some of them. I mean... Age of Empires 4, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Alan Wake 2, probably not. Uh... Arc, Arc 2, two probably. probably. I would say probably. You think probably? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Armored Core 6, that is, that was just announced, right? Yeah. That was the uh, From Software game. That's yeah. probably going to happen. I don't think they're going to delay that. Probably. Assassin's Creed Mirage is probably coming out. They need to do one yearly, yeah. so yeah. Uh, what else? Crash Team Rumble is probably coming out. And Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, don't they have to do that because it's a movie tie-in? I don't know. I don't know. I feel feel like maybe James Cameron would be like, no, just make just make it good and put it out because I take a thousand years to make my movies. So <laughs> apparently, that's already very close to making a billion dollars worldwide. Holy shit! I know. Who's seeing movies? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so like not interested. Yeah. in movies that are coming out. Like, uh, put it on TV and then I'll see it. What's Crime Boss Rock A City? Isn't that the other? Isn't that Crime Boss? But why is it on here twice? Consoles. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Fallout Four for PS Five and Series X, okay. Uh, Lies of P, the weird, sexy yes. Pinocchio anime game, is coming next year, baby. We talked about this on the podcast, yes. right? Yes, yeah, it's the weird game that so looks weird. actually kind of fucking awesome. Yeah, but it's it's a goddamn Pinocchio. It's a goddamn game. Pinocchio game. He doesn't look anything like Pinocchio. No. But there he is. There's Pinocchio. Uh, Payday 3 is allegedly coming out next year. That's weird. I that haven't heard anything weird. about that. Me neither. Uh, Mina the Hollower coming out next year. Oh, okay. I didn't That'll, know that. Yeah. Uh, Pikmin 4, Bob's favorite. Lollipop Chainsaw <laughs> Remake. <laughs> I don't think that's coming out. Platform is not announced. Yeah, I don't think it's coming out at all. No. Uh, well, I, I'm, I would imagine it coming out. It's probably not next year. Okay. Uh, Pikmin 4, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars Hunters, isn't that that mobile game that's already out? Or do I think it's something else? No, it says Android iOS. Okay. I think it was delayed heavily. Okay. Uh, Super Bomberman R2. I'm very curious how they could... Because it, it looks exactly the same. Yeah. I'm very curious how they can make it any different. Yeah. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
For those of you who keep want to playing Friday the 13th but actually want updates to it, The Wolf Among Us 2. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And a lot of other stuff. Did we miss out your favorites? Let us know. Yeah. I, I feel like that's... What's Slitterhead? That sounds gross. Yeah. Oh, I remember this game. This was gross and weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically <clears throat> it. Yeah. Um, Looks like it could be a good year. I don't know. It's hard to talk about because last this year seemed like it was going to be so good. There were so many games that were slated and, and yeah. whatever. And then a lot of them got delayed. So it ended up not being as excited as it looked like yeah. it was going to be. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what next year looks like. I don't know how excited I am for a lot of this stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely things I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. But aside from Spider-Man, nothing is like jumping out at me saying like, you're going to want to play this game as soon as possible. And like yeah. Spider-Man is only jumping out at me because like I like the first game so much. I think the most anticipated is going to be uh, Zelda, of course. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, not really that. Yeah, I mean Silk Song if it actually comes out. Yeah. Uh and that's really all that I'm all that I'm really crazy about. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's still got to be a lot more announcements for things that we Oh, definitely. we will we'll get excited about. Yeah. There's probably a lot of things coming out that we don't even yeah. know. Like maybe Nintendo yeah. will announce a Mario game. Nintendo's got to have some announcements. Yeah. They don't have much going on. They really on. don't. Uh anyway, uh notification time. Uh, Garen Thet, thank you for the 16 months and Rise Frog 545 thanks for the 27 months what is up Wolf Bros I don't have a question I just have been playing Elden Ring nonstop. it is one of my favorite games of all time also I got iPad for Christmas so now I edit my frog animation okay cut off <laughs> congratulations on your frog animation on your iPad yeah um Hogwarts Legacy is going to be a good one. Hopefully, it better be since I pre-ordered it. <laughs> Never pre-order games. Yeah, don't pre-order games. There, there will be plenty for you. Yes. What one most anticipated of the Game Awards? Uh, Zelda. Zelda. Yeah, that always wins. Uh, it always wins, and it's always the most anticipated. Yes. Um. Lies of P. I've never seen that game in writing. I thought it was Lisa P. <laughs> um all right i guess we can move on to the steam recap yeah you don't you haven't played any games on yeah so this is all you all right here we go uh, i did this on stream last night but now we're doing it in podcast form okay. this is wolfwood's steam replay that's my steam name yes don't friend request me. I got a. I put. I did a Steam video, a Steam Deck video the other yeah. day, and it fucking got a million Steam requests. I'm never gonna play a game with you. Stop requesting me. This year, you played a variety of different games. I played 28 games. Wow. On Steam, Fall Guys 11. percent I didn't play much Fall Guys. Right. Curse to Golf 11. percent That's weird. Uh, 93 achievements unlocked. Uh, Halo Infinite 10. percent 56% played with a keyboard and mouse. That doesn't okay. sound right. 44% with a controller. I think it's just a lot of me jumping in, seeing if something works, just yeah. using the mouse and keyboard for the hell of it. How you compare? Stack your year against the rest of the Steam community. You unlocked 93 achievements, which is above the Steam average of 21, which is crazy because I really didn't think I played that much. You played 28 games above the average of five games. The average Steam user plays five games in the whole year. Wow. Well, I guess it's like, you know, most people just play like the one game and yeah. stay with it. Yeah, they play so. Dota and, and yeah. never touch anything else. Your longest streak was three days, which is the Steam average is nine. So I'm right. very low there. Uh, new releases, 41% of okay. the percentage of games you played that were new releases. Uh, which makes sense because I always try to stay on top of things. 45% the percentage of games you played that were released in the last one to seven years, which is a long time. Yeah. Classic games, 14%. The percentage of games you played that were released eight or more years ago. Wow. Uh, you are what you play. And then they do that little graph that Nintendo did, but theirs yeah. is much better because you have 2D platformer. <laughs> right. Rhythm game. 
Okay. I don't know what I played. That was uh, maybe Electronic Super Joy. Uh, action Roguelike. Dungeon Crawler. VR. I don't think I played any VR games. Platformer. So it's 2D platformer and then just platformer. Right. And I guess Fall Guys is just platformer. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I like that better because it's not just action or, yeah. or, or adventure, which is the most fucking broad thing you could do. By the numbers, workshop items, subscriptions, four. I need to fucking unsubscribe to things, I guess, because yeah. I don't know what the hell that's talking about. Badges earned three, number of friends added one, which I think is just <laughs> Hannah, and games gifted one, which is Hannah. I gifted her Portal 2, so we right. can play Portal 2. Uh, let's take a closer look at your top played games. Fall Guys, 11% total play time. I didn't play it that much. I played it for two months. Um... Curse to Golf, 11% total play time. Uh, nine play sessions. Uh, Halo Infinite, 10% total play time. Uh, uh, 20 sessions played? I, I jump in and jump out a lot just right. to test stuff out. Neon White. So this didn't update because I played last night also. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10%. Neon White is definitely my game of the year. I played more last night. That game's fucking amazing. Right. Uh, Cult of the Lamb, also a very good game up there for game of the year. 10% total play time. Um, yeah, Cult of the Lamb was very good. And then in August, 34% of my total play time was in August okay. for Steam. I played, I played Portal 2, Cult of the Lamb. What's this little one? Halo Infinite, Curse to Golf, Fall Guys, Jedi Fallen Order. Was that when I... No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why August I just had a crazy Steam month. Yeah. You played on more than one device, and it just says Windows and Steam Deck. <laughs> Looks like I played more on Windows. Okay. Uh, I kind of wish this broke it out between different computers, though, because I have other Windows machines yeah. that I play Steam on. Take a closer look at the platforms you played on. Looks like you got a Steam Deck. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Here they are, and on the Steam Deck I played Portal 2, Tunic, 30XX, Apex Legends. Apex Legends, I'm only playing to try things out on the yeah. Steam to like show off the Steam Deck. I'm not actually interested. Kunai, which is a great game. I got All that right. for like a dollar. It's a freaking great game. 44% of your playtime was with a controller. Yes. Uh, explore the games you played this year and then here they all are wow VR chat's on there. <laughs> Aperture Desk Job, a lot of people were like hyping that game up. It's just a one hour demo of okay. the Steam Deck and it just shows you what all the buttons do. It's really not that exciting. Trombone Champ. And that's basically it. Okay. Uh, I played a little bit of Rainbow Six 3 to try to see if it worked good with the controller and it works okay. I tried doing it and it said, sorry, this account does not have any playtime this year. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's You did that little. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I don't play on Steam. I don't blame you. I mean, you can get games on the MacBook. I know. Not many. Not many. And not many of them will work on, uh, you know, because they weren't updated for a 64-bit. True. Yeah, and I have the M1, so not a lot of games yeah. were updated for M1. Uh, I forgot to pull Tweet of the Week. Okay. So I guess we're just going to sit here in silence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nobody uh, it's not now there wasn't a lot of news this week also not a lot of funny people on twitter it's no. like all the funny people took took off yeah well i mean it really is such a weird time of year because it's like you got christmas and then immediately after it's new year's and then it's like why do why bother why do anything why do Who anything cares? uh I, is the tweet of the week taking a day off too i guess Maybe. there's <laughs> nothing here Matendu, what does Will play on? I've been playing PS4 recently because I just finished the Resident Evil 3 remake. I'm playing Roller Drome, and then after that, I'm going to go to Xbox and finish up Sonic Frontiers. And then I don't know what. Do I play Hitman 3? I really want to play Hitman 3. That's an old game. Yes. I No new games for me. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, I guess I guess we'll do the, I I guess we'll do this one. It's not okay. even that funny, but I mean it's <laughs> not, not a lot of not a lot of shit went on this week. Oh boy, I can't wait. 
Uh, here it is. Okay. This is uh, from Tokyo Dilf. Best season's greetings card to receive. And it's a, it's a, I guess this guy just doxes himself. It's a postcard sent to somebody that says, Hey, I used to live in your house. I'm drunk in Boston and it's the only address <laughs> I know. Happy holidays. Okay. So he sent, he just sent a little postcard because he's drunk and only knows one address. There you go. Happy holidays. <laughs> All right. Now uh, we are, uh, what are we doing? We're talking to We're talking to you guys. Yes. Yeah, well, happy holidays. Guys. Starting with Merry Christmas. people who have comments on last week's Wolf Den Podcast over on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Wolf Den Podcast. YouTube.com. I haven't pulled up the Discord. Yeah, I got, I got Discord problems. We got, we're, we're just, it's, 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 you know, it's that week between Christmas yeah, and New Year. Yeah, we're taking a break. A we rated fuck. snacks today. Who gives a fuck? Uh, Fred says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, Caleb Fox says, Will, what is the best version of RE4 for newcomers? Oh, boy. I ha Now, you you are asking the professional. Yeah. Uh, I have access to a PC, all Nintendo consoles, and all Xbox systems aside from the current generation. I don't mind playing an old on older hardware if the gameplay slash atmosphere is better, but I also can appreciate some quality of life improvements. Okay. So... I would first and foremost suggest playing if you have access to all Nintendo consoles, maybe try the Wii version because the motion controls are actually pretty good, but you can also use a GameCube controller, which is the definitive controller for that game because the game was made for a GameCube controller. Having said that, I feel like at this point, if you want to play Resident Evil 4, any way you can get your hands on Resident Evil 4 is ideal. Make sure it has the ability to remap buttons, though, to try and make it as comfortable for you to play as possible. Because it does have a weird control setup. You can't move and shoot at the same time. Um, in the original version, you aimed with the right trigger and fired with the A button. So that's going to take some getting used to. Um, so just make sure you're playing a version that you feel most comfortable with. Uh, yes. A lot of people would say the Wii version, but, yeah. but I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how much motion controls matter. I mean, the thing is like. It's the the way the what most controls work in the Wii version. It's not like, you know, it doesn't hamper anything. You're literally just pointing the controller at the screen and shooting who comes at you. And because you don't move, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to worry. You know, you don't have to worry about like, you know, losing sight of anything. Okay. You just stop, and what's ever on screen in front of you, you just aim at. Okay. Uh, Melon says, I don't read the comics. Do Spider-Man, do Spider-Mans ever acknowledge the spider biting them, giving them powers? I don't recall that in any of the movies. What? They never are like, oh God, that spider gave me powers. We need to find it and do something. Oh, that's a good point. See where it came from and make sure they don't hurt others or make more spider peoples. I don't know. To the best of my knowledge. That's a very good point. To the best of my knowledge. The spider that bit Peter Parker and gave him his powers has only ever been revisited once. And that was in the introduction of the character Silk. You learn that she actually got bit by the same spider that bit Spider-Man. Other than that, that spider is one of the most unimportant characters in Peter <laughs> Parker's just story. Doesn't matter. It's just the vessel that gave him the powers. Now, Sometimes they might go a little weird with it. Like there was one story where this character was like, did the spider choose you to be Spider-Man? <laughs> Is there more to it than that? But that got dropped like fairly quickly. So don't con concern yourself on that particular spider. Because the spider, much like Peter Parker's parents, doesn't really matter. That's a very good point. I never thought about that, how the spider just... There's a lot of things in comics that are beaten to the ground. Yeah. And the spider is just fucking tossed aside like nobody gives a shit. Even though it's probably a big deal. You should probably find that spider and it's, make sure it doesn't bite anybody see, else. See, but it's a problem that like has infested 
all of media now where like everything has to be explained everything has to have an origin story everything has to be like yeah. you know deeply tied into the lore and the history of a character and the thing about the spider that bit peter parker is that it's just a spider it bit peter parker probably didn't live much longer than that yeah so don't concern yourself with it all you need to know is that some nerdy teen got bit by a radioactive spider and got powers that's it because after he got powers he started to mutate into a spider yeah and you don't want that happening yeah that's bad <laughs> uh i know bob 94 uh oh says i thought i had drift on my right Joy-Con until i found out that i have a fat lazy right thumb oh so you're fine that's an interesting <laughs> I, maybe you can see if there's a nintendo warranty yeah that. fat lazy right thumb herb 64 says i dare nintendo to sell a collector's edition of tears of the kingdom that comes with sheikah slate and art book art cards pins c- soundtrack cd and a steel book with no copy of the game i'll open my wallet so fast <laughs> I mean, I get it if you want the, if you're getting a digital, like I'm going to get a digital version of Tears of the Kingdom. Right. Maybe I want all the cool stuff. Yeah. Maybe it'd be cool to get the digital version on the eShop and then get all the cool stuff. Yeah. But that should be an option, not the main way to get it. Right. Uh, Long Pants Man. Hey. Okay. Says, uh, I sent my Switch out in like 2018 at the time. They requested, uh, I also send out my system and a game. And I sent Breath of the Wild. What the fuck? One month later, they sent me back the system, but no game. Stating that they never received my Breath of the Wild cart. Joy-Con still had drift. What? Whoa, that that sounds fishy. Yeah, they would. Why would they ever request the game? Yeah, they only want the, the controller. Did you have an issue with your game? With the with the entire like what, system, what was the issue you came to them with? Was it just drift? Because I, if, it was, if it was just drift, then you should just send the controller. I have many follow up questions. Yeah, they sh- there should absolutely n- there should never be a time where they ask for the game unless yeah. there's a problem with the way the game is being read. But that doesn't sound right at all. Some something's up with that. Yeah. Maybe you sent it to Sony by mistake. Yeah, maybe you sent it to Jim. Yeah. Uh, anyway, now we're in the chat. Hi, guys. Yes. Um, we also have 100 bits from Mecha Dragon. Uh, any of you bros going to MAGFest next week? I no. did not know that was still a convention. No, I'm never going to MAGFest. Yeah. Uh, Alvo, resubscribe. I, I should say, E keeps trying to get me to go to MAGFest. Yeah. He says it is the best convention. Not going. Okay. I, I, I don't see of reason for me for me to i like pax because there's like things going there's like vendors there that are like showing new yeah. shit you know magfest and like twitch magfest feels like twitch con which is like like vidcon it's like yeah. you're going there to see creators People. yeah and that feels weird to me right i don't want you to go like there's a time me and wood did like a meetup at like the 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 new york uh uh nintendo store yeah and somebody was like I drove all the way from from Florida to come here, and I was like, <laughs> "If you asked me, I would have said stay in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> it's not fucking worth it. <laughs> that feels weird. Yeah. So no, I don't like those types of conventions. Uh, Alvo resubscribed for five months. Uh, thanks to this channel, I can stop thinking that I need a pocket emulator. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, yeah, stop yeah. thinking. Wait, did he say stop thinking? Because I thought I read that. And I, I can said, stop thinking that I need I a pocket I can't stop or I can't stop? I can't stop thinking I need a pocket Can't memory. stop. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I can't read. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry to have done that to you. Uh, I missed the Rock PR uh, with the Twitch, with the Prime sub. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, okay. Now we're in the chat. Yes. Make it good. Yes. What are your thoughts on the OLED 27 PC monitors with the high refresh rates to be released next year, i.e. Asus Endgame and LG Ultra Gear? I have no idea about any of these monitors. Are OLED's monitors finally becoming a thing? Because I know for a long time they weren't. They weren't a thing. Yeah. Because 
it, you get a really bad burden. Yeah. Because you're on a freaking computer with a taskbar yeah. and stuff. But I think OLED technology has gotten a lot better where you probably, if it's made specifically to be a monitor, you'll yeah. probably be fine. Mm hmm. Uh, fourteen forty p end game. What is the? What is the two hundred and forty hertz? Okay, yeah. that's not that crazy. That exists. That this fucking laptop is that. Right, <laughs> it's a laptop that yeah. uh, that that is that. Um, how much? Doesn't say. Okay, what's the yeah. other one? LG Ultra Gear. I mean, that sounds good. If you want a high high frame rate, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. There's a law of diminishing returns. Once you get over 120 hertz, it's kind of really not yeah. that crazy. Um, Ultra Gear is like a line of monitors. I yeah. Think. I don't know. Here's an Ultra Gear that's only three hundred fifty dollars. That's pretty good. I don't know. I won't know until I get one of these things in my hands. I don't know if I have too many freaking monitors. Yeah. Uh, Bob, just get the snack tiv tool for eating while gaming. Is that the the, the thing finger that you put chopsticks? On your... Yeah. No, that's stupid. Just use actual <laughs> chopsticks. Yeah, just use actual chopsticks. I did that. I I I did that with Takis recently. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep reading. Uh, <laughs> Will doesn't like that. M. Skelton, uh, I'm deeply offended by your Cole Ranch Dorito placement this time. Will was wrong. No, he was not. No. No. We agree. No. We all agree, right? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I keep accidentally pinning people's comments, and now I just deleted your comments. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Combat wizard, I'm so sorry. Oh. Um. The 615 Warrior. Thank you for the seven months. Yes. Uh, Would you take Steam Key donations? I mean, fine, but I'm probably not going to play the game, so don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Happy New Year, gents. Thanks for another fun year of Wolf Den Goodness. Thank you, Beats Thank Forte. You. Thank you, Beats Forte. Uh, hey, let's do the giveaway now. Do Fuck it. it. Fuck it. Everybody do exclamation point giveaway. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's too late anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Fuck you. Uh, roll it. That is so loud. Will Will and Quinn? Will and well Quinn? Quinn? Well and Quinn, are you here? You better say something in the chat yeah, right now. Let's do it. Oh wait, should I hit a button? <laughs> you gotta do the thing. I gotta do the right button. Hold on. That's the button. Say something in the chat or else you don't get it. Yeah. Where are you? I'm gonna lose my fucking mind if you don't say something in the chat. You have 30 seconds. Yeah, less than that, huh? Yeah. 20 seconds. Ah, I hit a button. Well oh, and no. Quinn, stop hitting buttons. Wait, well, and, well and Quinn's fucked. Yeah. All right, he's dead. All right. He's dead. And banned forever because he didn't come back. All right, All right next, next person now. There's more chance to get it. Just man, just get it over with. Just, just <laughs> the guy. Oh, you no, know, it's got, it's got, got to do the pop and circumstance. Jack Pierre. All right. Jack Pierre, I swear to God, if you're not here, nobody's winning, and then I'm, and then everybody's gonna be mad at you. <laughs> and that's it. We'll turn his car around. I'm turning his full car around. We'll end the podcast. Oh, he's there. Hey. That was the easiest. Okay. That was the easiest thing in the world. Congratulations. Wow, yay. Uh, I'm going to whisper you, I think. Will it work? 
it didn't work. All right. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to whisper you, and then you need to tell me uh, what your if 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 where, where's your fucking name? God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to whisper you, and then you need to tell me uh, if you're based in the U.S. and what type of card you want. eShop, uh, Amazon, or Steam. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's that's the, This is the last podcast of the year. There you go. Man, so many fun memories. So many good times. So many bad times. But... No, what was a, what was a bad time we I don't had, know, we had on this podcast? I don't know. Let's revisit a bad time <laughs> we had. I can't think. I can't think of a no, bad. We, we can you think of a bad we don't time? Have, we don't have bad times. Oh, we there had, was the time where we accidentally broke a uh, street date, or or what was what's it called? We we broke embargo on the uh, Super sixty four. Yes, that that was a bad time. I think that was the Wolf Den live though. So that doesn't count. Oh, it doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. Wolf Den podcast has always been yes. fun. We've had things that could have been bad times that turn out to be fun times, like when Bob had to pay his electrical bill. <laughs> That's a good point. That was a bad. Okay, yeah. that was a bad time. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for chatting with us. As always, the Wolf Dead podcast is every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on twitch.tv slash Wolf Dead. If you can't make the show for any reason at all, we always put it up as an archive version over on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Wolf Dead podcast. So you can go check us out over there on demand whenever you want. If you prefer to listen to us rather than watch us, you can do that as well. We're also an audio podcast on anchor.fm slash Wolf Dead podcast or your preferred podcast service of choice. But no matter where you get this show from, folks, please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us because that helps us with placement on all those respective platforms. Hey, Wood Stream and go watch it. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back next week. Probably, I mean, yeah, it's the third. Yeah. Probably. Well, uh, hopefully there'll be things to talk about. Yeah. So otherwise, I'm not doing another snack to your list. Yeah. It's on you, games industry. Yeah. Give us something to talk Give about. Give us something to talk about. Uh, we'll see you later. I might stream tomorrow. Fuck it. I'm not making a video this week. Uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Is this the button? Yeah.